Previously, I published a video showing a cyber attack on an infrastructure substation. I wanted to show you that an adversary can enumerate and manipulate the target with simple technical means. Hi everybody, it's Marcel Rickzen and today we're breaking down my cyber attack on a simulated infrastructure substation. I usually do all attacks against real industrial hardware, but a device like this was simply too cumbersome and I analyzed the honeypot instead to better understand the attack landscape on such systems. We assume that we have network access to the target and we scan the target with Nmap, discovering two open TCP ports, port 22 with SSH and port 2404 with the industrial protocol IEC 104 which is widely used in infrastructure systems and SCADA systems. We want to examine this protocol in more detail and look for Nmap scripting engine script with this command. One script is found and we start Nmap and let it execute the script IEC identify on port 2404. The script scan is finished and we were able to pull the application service data unit and the number of information objects from the target. The ASDU address is needed for all interactions with an IEC 104 capable device, so this information is crucial for all following steps. Next, we launch the Metaspot framework and search for modules for interaction with this industrial protocol. We load the IEC 104 client utility and display the module information. Besides the target IP address and the ASDU, this module needs quite a number of information, but more on that later. First, with this setting, we can perform an interrogation of the target. We need to set the target IP address and also the target ASDU address before starting the interrogation. Then we also increase the information output and start the module. And here you see a list of all the data stored in the information objects. These can be boolean, integer or floating point values. Now, if we want to manipulate the content of information object 3370, which holds boolean data, we first set the command address, which represents the information object address. Next, we set the command type and here each number represents a certain interaction with the data stored in the information object. And finally, we set the value to be written. In this case, we want to overwrite the content with a 1. The module is executed and we receive the feedback that the content of this object has been altered. Okay, what does this mean to your system? No authentication was required for interaction with the target, so an adversary with network access could directly manipulate the device. But is your infrastructure in immediate danger? Well, not necessarily, as specific knowledge of the device, the supported commands and the location and application of the information objects and the contents are required. While an adversary might be able to pull the information from the target, they just see a lot of numbers without context. However, keep your OT network secure. Apply network segmentation, limit the network traffic by a firewall and additionally an NDR solution could catch any rogue commands sent to the device. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.